Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check the specs on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now there are two different ways that you can see different specs for your phone. The first one is just built into the settings. So let's open up settings here, scroll down and tap on general, and then about. You'll be able to see the iOS version, the model, the model name, the model number, I can scroll down here and see more information about the available capacity. In this case, you can see the capacity is 128 gigabytes, but it doesn't give me information and specs on the camera, on the different services, on my processor, all of that. To do that, I recommend going to the App Store and just typing in device monitor. There are a bunch of different options, but this is a good option called device monitor right here. After you've downloaded it, you can hit open here and it's completely free. It'll show a bunch of information. So the model iPhone 14 Pro, it'll show the iOS operating system, the uptime, whether the temperature is overheating or normal, the last reboot. It'll show you all of the sensors and whether they're up and running and working normally. It'll show you your RAM. So you can see I have 5.5 gigabytes. Of that, 1.75 is active, 1.64 is inactive, some wired, some compressed, some free. Under storage, you can see how much storage I've used. In addition, you can see CPU. So I can hit detailed chart here. And it's really cool because I can scroll down and see my different cores from one all the way to six, how much basically they are being utilized, the processor, all kinds of different information about my A16 Bionic processor. I can also scroll down and see network activity here, the gigabytes of data that I have sent and received, my battery status here, and I can always see the level 70% here, and its status is discharging. The display, I can see the frames per second, all of that basically will be directly in this app, which will give you a lot of different specs and information about your iPhone and make sure that everything is working as it should be. And it's basically the specs that you expect to see in the model iPhone that you have. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.